YouTube shops opening up. Let's get the lights on the other side. I'm also going to get the heater going a little bit. Let's see, did this finish charging? This is done. Perfect. Now let's trickle charge the mower. Still plugged in? Yeah, it still is. Yeah, let's get this mower on a trickle charge. Now if I could just see which one was the positive. Oh, right, this one's the positive. They both have red wires. <laughs> There we go. Let's see. Yep, there we go. We're charging. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to actually start this. This needs a little more work than I originally thought. Uh, so I'm not going to start this, but let's see how it sounds cranking. That sounds a little on the rough side. Um, this might actually make the perfect candidate for a diesel swap since it does have a belt driven engine. Hmm. And that would be pretty cool. I think, at least. I think a diesel swap into the squad would be pretty cool. Um, we got too many other projects still to think about this one. Probably gonna disconnect these terminals though. Yeah, I'm thinking diesel swap this. Diesel for everything. Come on. How you doing? Uh, it won't have as much horsepower, but man, I think it would have some crazy torque. And it would drive it. I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think? Should I do that? Because all this electrical crap on this is what probably uh, is dead. I know the starter is definitely dead. Because that's a brand new AGM battery, which in fact I'm going to take out. Uh, well, not fully take out, but I'm going to disconnect the, the terminals. But I think a diesel swap might even add value to this. Now, tell me what you guys want to see. I do have a 10 horse engine that I could throw in this. And I know it's bigger than this. This is a 260cc. I know it won't be as, as much horsepower. So this is a, uh, I think it's a 17 or 20 horsepower engine. I don't think it's any more than that. It's definitely lost some horsepower over the years. But you can fuel torque way more than you can fuel horsepower. And I know this thing's got some crazy, uh, some crazy torque. So, I don't know. Tell me you guys what you think. In fact, I'm going to name this part of the video, uh, this will be the Lin High possible uh, diesel conversion. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling that. I think that'd be cool. I think the biggest thing would be trying to fit everything in. That'd be the, the biggest obstacle. The fuel tank should be fine though. Plastic fuel tank, just drain all the gas out. Definitely couldn't run the same fuel lines. Oh, why did I even start thinking about this? We got all this stuff to do, YouTube. <laughs> but it's definitely something to think about. All right, let's continue on. So we got the John Deere charging up. All right, I'm going to disconnect the terminal on this. The next thing you guys see is me starting to disassemble the carb from this, or the air filter box. I don't want to break any of this because this air filter box is brand new. Well, brand used, I should say. And uh, don't want any of that to break. Uh, and we're going to just be transferring all the screws directly over to that one. There's not going to be any, uh, any mix up with that. So let's get going.